Hi, my name's Robert and I have aphantasia. Uh, I'm making this video uh, part of a series, talk to people about aphantasia because I've known I've had it since I was very young and back then there wasn't a name for it. Um, basically told people I had no pictures in my head and that uh, I liked it that way. <laughs> um, I told people that they basically had demons in their head and I didn't. I lived life from what I saw. My eyes are an input mechanism, uh, uh, an input device for my brain, and my brain processes things very fast. I identify things very quickly. It's not like I forget what things are. Um, the test for aphantasia, as the pickheads set it up, is you close your eyes, you open them, see an apple, you close it again. Can you see the apple? Uh, when I close my eyes, I see darkness, and that's basically what every camera in the world does. Cameras don't have <clears throat> random pictures showing up uh, as an image when you, when you close the cover, when you close the lens, and that's the way my eyes work. Um, if a camera did have random images showing up when you close the lens, you would think it's broken. Uh, and that's the way I see pickheads. I see their minds as broken. Uh, they, they process images pixel by pixel. How slow was that? That was the last uh, computer that did was, the, wasn't even the Pentium one, was it? Uh, it was a 486 that did that, right? The Pentium one, they realized that was a total waste of time and absolutely unneeded. That you could process pictures into vector images, realize uh, whole strings of pixels, and then recognize any picture. Every facial recognition program in the world does not use images. It uses vectors and, and points of reference. And that's what an aphantasia person has. We're an upgrade. So I'm looking at YouTube. And for those of you who are just finding out you have aphantasia, it's real easy to get depressed and say, oh my goodness. I, I don't have pictures in my head. I have a mental disorder. No, no, you don't. You're upgraded. You have a better processor than the pickheads. You don't have demons in your head. When you close your eyes to sleep, you sleep. When your eyes close, you should see darkness. Eyes are the input to the brain. Why would you want the horror shows playing in your head over and over and over again? So we're going to look at the first page of YouTube here and uh, see what the pickheads are doing to try and make us aphantasia people feel bad. So I have aphantasia. You may too without realizing it. It's, that's good. That one has 5.8 million views. Uh, three years ago it was published and it's from an artist with pretty good graphics that talks about uh, uh, the fact they'd never heard it from now and uh, 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 that now that they realize they have it, so what? By the way, why are so many artists, so many brilliant artists, people who have aphantasia? Because they have better processors. Because when you memorize things in vectors and points of reference, that's what you can recall when you create art. And your art will be much more detailed, much more catching to the eye than simply recalling and, and regurgitating a picture. So the second one is from Wired. Aphantasia, the people without the mind's eye. See, I don't like that at all. Uh, if you close your eyes and picture an apple, how clear is the apple in your mind? People, most people can visualize images in their head. So the whole Wired uh, piece is about how they see it as a mental disability. And it's because it's published by all these pickheads who think, oh, the poor people with no pictures in their head. And mind's eye, really? Is that what you're calling the regurgitation of subconscious pictures into your mental, uh, into your conscious mind when your eyes are closed? Uh, it's not like my mind stops thinking when my eyes close. It's just that I'm free to think about what I want to think about. And yeah, I can reference any place I've ever been anybody I've ever seen, 
have mental conversations with them. All the things that you think we don't have because we have pictures, we do have. My imagination, and I don't want to brag, is highly superior to yours because my imagination isn't tied to an image. My imagination lets me create anything out of references. The only difference between being an artist and not being an artist is being able to translate that through your hands or translate that through your computing ability to a computer. So yeah, of course, the world's greatest artists have aphantasia. They're not tied down to pictures. So here you go, number three, aphantasia, seeing the world without a mind's eye by Tamara Alariza. TEDx, good enough college. Defining aphantasia, Tamara is half Saudi and half Mexican, born in London, raised in Los Angeles. She has many interests, blah, blah, blah. So seeing the world without a mind's eye. I actually haven't watched that video, so I won't critique it. But uh, the word aphantasia itself means without imagination, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous title for us. And without a mind's eye, Again, it acts like we have a disability when we actually have an advantage. So for Tamara, I would say next time you do a TEDx or any kind of speech, say, I have an upgraded CPU and I see the world in ways that pickheads can never imagine because I'm not tunnel visioned by images in my head. The whole world is open to me. I see things logically. I see things real. Let me explain that a little bit further. If you have an image in your brain and you file pictures in your brain, you've referenced pictures. So let's say a person of another ethnicity did something bad to you. You become unconsciously prejudiced because that's your filing system. Us people with upgraded minds, every person is unique. We don't have a black, white, yellow, red skin color filing system. We have lots more variables. Yours is picture based, color based. So you're naturally going to file in a prejudiced way, whether it's prejudicial good, prejudicial bad. It's going to be filed referentially with the colors. We don't have that. We file referentially by actual events. We group people who did bad things to us together, not by their ethnicity, by the bad things they did. It's way different, isn't it? So uh, can you visualize aphantasia explained? Okay, aphantasia AMA with Dr. Zellman. Dr. Zellman first coined the term aphantasia. Well, what an idiot. A pickhead that labeled us. Dr. Zeman, Zeman, Z-E-M-E-N, Z-E-M-A-N, the man who labeled us as non-imaginative. What a jerk, right? <laughs> It's very common in science. I look, I, I'm a scientist. I love science, but boy, the arrogance. You have pictures in your head and yet you think you can label the people without those pictures as disabled. How many people's lives has he damaged by his perversion? Uh, next one. We don't all have a mind's eye. Yeah, I don't have demons in my head. <laughs> Because of aphantasia, I'm not able to picture things in my mind. There's another interesting thing. I can't make a picture in my mind, but I can describe things to you in details that you can't imagine. Because when you have a picture in your head, you actually have a picture with a lot of foggy points. If it's a very detailed place, you have a picture with a lot of foggy points. And in the time that you imagined that place, your filing system was bogged down with video, with imagery, very difficult to store. 
people with aphantasia, upgraded people, don't have that problem. We do details. We store details. So I can recall many more details from every place I visited than you can because you have a slow processor saving images and images that will pop back up whether you want them to or not. Aphantasia, life without mental images. Oh, here's one. My mind is blind. I can't picture anything. Aphantasia explained. What a moron. Your mind isn't blind at all. Your mind is working on a processor that is upgraded from the PICS processor. Uh, let's see. Let's skip a double down here. Imagination blindness. Aphantasia. The way your brain can break. <sighs> What a jerk, right? <laughs> it really annoys me that people who aren't like us classify us like this. Uh, let's see. Aphantasia, what you can do, what is it? Do you have it? And how can you combat it? How can you combat it? Why would you want to combat an upgrade? Why would you want to combat a, a superior CPU, a superior filing system? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. So that's the video of page one of YouTube's videos on aphantasia and the morons, the pickheads who uh, think they know us. So if you have aphantasia, first of all, start calling yourself an upgrade. I only reference aphantasia because that's the coined term by some ignorant pickhead who labeled us. Kind of like the slanderous words for other ethnicities we'll have to make it our own and until then enjoy your life love your life you're one of one or two percent that are superior human beings because you live in today you process things logically you're not haunted by demons in your head like all these pickheads are congratulations you have aphantasia bye